Hi, I'm Rob Eric. Welcome to This Country Called Agriculture. On today's show, we're going to look at some interesting issues. One of those is, is on-farm biodiesel right for you? How much does it cost? Can I actually do it? We're going to have a look at that issue. Plus, we're going to look at succession planning today. What's it all about? It's the multi-generational transfer of assets. Yes, it is. Let's, let's, we're going to take a bit of a uh, non-traditional look at it with uh, some of the people that are coming in to the ag finance banking market. And then finally we're going to end with a special guest. Uh, most of you may know him, uh, George Grenville, former Ag Minister for the province of Alberta. And he's going to share with us what he thinks farming is looking like today and where the future of farming is going. But before we start, let's talk about what this show is all about. You know, the future of farming is changing. A lot of new issues are coming up. The family farm, lifestyle farming is, is giving away to, to corporate agribusiness. And we want to look at the best practices in business. We want to look at the techniques, the innovative equipment, the issues that surround that. And we want to be able to bring interesting uh, topic areas to help you reduce your costs as a producer. But more so, part of that has to do with the whole food supply chain. We want to show the consumer the story of how the producer and all the people in the middle produce the food today. We call that our gate to plate segment. Let's now switch to on-farm biodiesel uh, production. It's been a hot topic for a while. Uh, when we come back from a commercial break here, we're going to talk to Jasmine Hofer from Energro, and she's going to give us an overview of crushing canola or any other oil seed to, to produce uh, biodiesel. 